Hello. Hello, loves. Thanks for coming to my channel to chat it up with me again today. I'm going to show you how to bleach test your hair. Um, I'm actually doing some bundles now, so I'm going to just go ahead and show you while I'm doing bundles. while i'm doing my hair and i guess you guys might or might not i don't know get to see me do a um tint on my closure it just depends if i have enough time to show you guys or not but the water is boiling um for that process so while it's boiling um for the tint process i'm gonna go ahead and get started here i am live so thank you thank you thank you subscribe subscribe um, I'm going to show you what I would do to um, to uh, do a bleach test. So I have here the powder lightener, which is that right there. And I'm also going to use a 30 volume developer. Now, I normally do not use this brand, but this is what I have um, that's full. My other one's not so full, so I just, hey, why not use this one? Okay, so I normally use, um, it's a different kind, but this will work for what we need it to do. Um, and I'm not going to color this color, but this is going to be something else I'll show you guys. And maybe later, um, I'm going to close this up. You do not want to inhale this stuff because this is very strong. So if you have small kids or kids, pets or anything, you do not want them to be around at this time because this stuff is extremely strong. If you have your air on, please make sure it's on. Turn your heater off and have your air on so you can um, begin. So I'm going to like that. Okay, so what you will do when you first color, you need your little brush thingy, something to make a bow mixer, and of course the two products, and the main product is the hair. So what you will do is put the powder um actually i like to eyeball it this way so i will put the the mixer into the powder into the mixer that's good enough because i'm not doing the whole bundle as you see i just took some out because i'm trying to do a little something something i'll show you guys later on and just kind of eyeball it with how much um, developer to use. So I'm going to do two bundles like this. And just mix it up. You do not want it thick. You won't need it this thick until you do your closure. So I cut. Kind of <coughs> <coughs> That's just how, how strong this stuff is, guys. So I kind of want it creamy. Like a runny sensation, but not too much. That's that's good enough, just like that. So make sure you mix it in real, real, real well. Um, so you have a smooth, nice cream perm look sensation, and then you're gonna begin to bleach. I'm not gonna do. The whole bundle again. I just took a few pieces out and I'm going to start from the bottom and just see what the hair does. This is how you bleach test your hair. You're um, basically seeing what the curls come back with the hair color. Um, will the hair take the color or whatnot? That's what you're looking for in this process. That's what you're looking for. 
if the half turns. And again, we're using number 30, so we'll take up some time, maybe 20 minutes for it to process. It could be sooner, so you do have to watch your hair. So I'm not gonna go all the way up there. I'm gonna stop here. You can kind of open it up and just make sure it's fully saturated with the bleach. And please know this is virgin hair. So once you begin this process, matter of fact, once you wash your hair with neutralizer, um, you then become processed. Your hair then become processed. So by us doing this right here, um, you now have processed hair. So your hair is no longer virgin. Well, some will be, some won't. <laughs> so that's another thing. And as you see, I just got it on me. So you want to be kind of careful doing that too, because it will bleach you. This is bleach. Once you put the bleach on, please know you're no longer um have virgin hair. That's very important. Some people, oh, um, my hair is doing this and doing that. Well, hey, what did you do to it? I bleached it or did you do it properly? You know, so you have to be careful on how you go about bleaching hair. So, as you can see, it's starting to turn colors. That's good and it's, that's good and that's fast. That's real fast. That's good and that's real fast. And you can see the process already had begun and it's changing colors. So um, I don't have any for you, voila, but that's okay. I can just let this sit. You kind of want to have for you to let the heat absorb and it attends to um get the um color change real super quickly by the heat being absorbed so i'm going to just go over again i'm going to do two bundles like this That's all, uh, only two, the exact same way. And what I did was take, I took, what I'm doing is taking the middle because of the look that I want. I'm gonna just take the middle and just only color that, nothing else. I'm gonna just let that sit there because I don't, I didn't get any foil. It's my fault. So this bundle, the other bundle I'm gonna do will be kind of sort of different from the other one. And if you feel it, it's, you can feel your hair getting warm. That's just the process is working. So I don't panic. Now, if your hair starts smoking, then <laughs> you bite water petty. Yeah, I might want to panic. So.
this is how you test your hair. And if you only purchase um, full bundles and you want to do a test, but you don't want to do your whole hair, this is basically how you would do it. However, you will um, you will go ahead on and uh, only do maybe a smaller portion of hair. As you see, it's turning colors and it's actually getting warm up in there, which is a good thing. Good. So this is good hair. It's changing colors. That's what you wanted it to do. The longer you let the color, the, the processor sit, uh, the more lighter your hair will turn. But also, you do want to follow the rules. This hair is very, very dark. So um, it's like a natural color. So maybe like a dark brown or so. So you only want to let this sit maybe 20, 20 to 25, maybe 30 minutes. Um, again, but you definitely want to eyeball it so you can see uh, the color and make sure it's not becoming damaged. Because if it's not good hair, it will then become damaged instead of just a regular hair color turn. Again, you can kind of feel the hair. Like me, if my if it's getting too hot, I take it off because I feel like there's something wrong. It's just my mind. I know if anything getting too hot on my hair, I'm gonna take it off. That's just how I do. I don't want nothing to get too hot. And see, it's still shiny and everything, and it's processed. So it's process. That's what you want your hair at least to look like or do process. This is a good color. Um, is this the color that I need? It looks like it will be. But also remember, you can't really tell right now because it's being processed. So once you wash it out and dry, then you'll be able to tell if it's the color. But you guys do see that it does change color. And also, look at that. It still have a curl. It still have its curl. So that's a good thing. That's an awesome thing. Now we're just waiting on the other one to turn. And that's what we're waiting on. That's about ready. So, again, since I'm live, I'm going to just take you guys with me. Um, because I want to show you guys while this is over there processing. I kind of want to show you guys that, um, it works. I'm excited. I want to show you guys how it's looking um bear with me y'all so hopefully you guys can see so um um i rinsed it out because i like i said it started to get a little hot i didn't i don't know for me hot i don't want, i don't want my hair to be hot <laughs> so can you guys see this this is a pretty brown a pretty brown color i'm loving it i hope you guys can see it i hope it picked up on camera um and what i did was just went ahead on and just rinsed out 
the other part of the hair just in case it got on the other side of the hair. So can you guys see the difference? The brown and the black. It's so, 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 so pretty. And guess what? The curl bounced back. The curl bounced back. Good hair. Good, good, good hair. So now I'm gonna go ahead on and just do a, a, a quick wash. Do a quick wash. I'm gonna go ahead on and just wash all the bundles because just in case any excess got on the hair, I definitely don't wanna um whoa. I definitely don't wanna you know have any Access on the hair, so go ahead on and wash that out. And you want to use cool water when you're washing your bundles. You want to use cool water. Now, this is the second time I am washing this hair. This is the second time because the first time I washed it when I first received it. This is the second time I'm washing it now that I have bleached it. And I'm going to do a um, color on it. And when I do the color, um, I'm not going to wash it, but I will rinse the color out and do a deep conditioner. Because when you, anytime you bleach your, bleach your hair, you definitely want to uh, do a deep conditioner. Just so your hair won't get dry because, you know, it's virgin hair. It's your real hair. It's just like your real hair. It can also get dry. Here is the other one. As you see, this is also change colors. Now let's rinse it out. It bounced back. It bounced back perfectly. And keep in mind the more you wash your hair, the more stronger and curlier. I should say your hair will be. If you wash your hair and it doesn't get and like it loses curl, then no. That's not, if it's not if you didn't order it, you know, straight, then it shouldn't be losing curl. Okay. So the more washes with bundles is the best. pretty now before I put the color that I'm going to put on it I will let this hair dry I'm going to let it dry so I can get a full a full look at the color. 
that the hair will originally be because when the hair dry it look completely different than this so it will be most likely lighter hope this live helped someone hope this live really helps someone Thanks for watching. Again, I hope this helps somebody.